Hello, and welcome to Waterdog Photography Blog. I'm Brooke Peterson, and today I'm going to show you how to remove backscatter from an image that has a black background using Lightroom CC. Now I've opened this image in Lightroom, and if you look at the top right-hand side, you'll see all of these modules at the top. I'm going to use the Develop module. In the Develop module, on the right-hand side, there are a list of tools or toolboxes that you can use. If you click on any of these arrows, you can open up the toolbox and see what's in there. Um, we can use those tools for a lot of different things. I'm going to use this panel of tools right here that's between the histogram and the basic. I'm going to use the adjustment brush. Now when I click on this adjustment brush, it's going to open a drop-down box that has all kinds of different things that I could adjust in here. What I'm going to adjust for this image is the exposure. The first thing I'm going to do is pull the exposure slider all the way up so the exposure is really high. That's so that when I paint over this black background, the exposure will come up a lot higher so that I'm able to see everything that I'm doing. I'm going to make the brush quite large so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to click and hold this brush. and You'll see everything lighten up as I paint over the image. Now I'll be really careful not to get the brush too close to the squid because I don't want to exchange uh, to change the exposure on the squid at all. Now as you do get closer to it you'll need to make the adjustment brush a bit smaller. The inner circle is where the most exposure will change and the outer circle of the brush is where your feathering is. So if you don't get too close to the image with the outer circle, then you won't change the exposure there on your squid. Okay, I'm gonna make I can make the brush quite a bit smaller and get in really close to the squid. I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing that here because I think you'll get the idea without me making a detailed image for you. But I could keep making the brush smaller and smaller until I can fit right in there close to that squid. Okay, once I have finished with this exposure, I'm uh, painting over this with the adjustment brush. I'm going to go to the exposure slider, and I'm going to bring it back down. First I'll show you where we started. We started here at zero, and so there you can see these particles here in the water. I'm going to pull that exposure down. have to go quite all the way to make all of the, that backscatter disappear. But you can see now the, now the background is underexposed and so all of that backscatter has disappeared. And my subject here, the squid, is still exposed the way that I want it to. Um, that's all there is to it. You click fin Done and that finishes your, your image. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, please feel free to look for more of them on my blog at waterdogphotographyblog.com or if you would like to see my gallery of images, please go to waterdogphotography.com. Thank you for watching.